Hello, how are you? This is Knowledge Doctor YouTube channel. Today we are going to build one simple Flutter project that's called Speech to Text. So let's make the application. Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So this one you to make one simple Flutter project that's called Speech to Text. And I'm really super very excited to actually making this video because our channel just hit the 10,000 subscribers because of you guys. Because you guys support me a lot and also inspire me to making the videos. Hope you support me a lot also on the upcoming. Really, what an actual power is to express my emotion that how happy I am, okay? So without any further delay, so let us start the tutorial now. So all right guys, so we create one application and you can see here this is the demo application is actually given by the Flutter community. So now we are going to actually start the code, okay? So before I start the code, I'm going to say one thing and that is in Flutter, everything is wizard, right? Remember this thing. So now what I'm going to do, I am going to actually remove this line, okay? Remove this line from here, okay? And after removing this line, Okay, we got one error. This error is actually coming from that my home page is not exist. So we need to create one pages here. So just go here and create on page. So I am going to make it at let's say home page dot dot. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to create one stateful class here. So for that, just STF, simple the stateful class is created and your class name. Okay, simple. And you can see here you get uh, you get some error. Uh, this error is actually coming from uh, import because you are not actually importing the material package. It's a simple, and I'm actually using some uh, shortcut in keyboards, and it's easy to actually import here. So I think I miss one thing that is how can you create the Flutter project, right? So in uh, Windows, it's easy to create that. Just Control Shift and P, and you can see a Flutter new project. Just enter. Enter, select the folder and your application name. So I'm not going to actually create another one because I recreate that. And also you can just go on the terminal, this terminal, new terminal. And on the terminal, just you can actually press uh, Flutter, create. And to create one Flutter project for you, okay? So I'm going to get that again and we delete that, okay? So now I'm going to copy this class, this stateful class. So why stateful? Because we're going to change the state. So that's why you're going to use the stateful class. And I go on here on the main dot root. I'm just I'm going to paste it at here. And also I'm going to remove this constant because I'm not going to actually name my uh, page to be constant. And also I'm going to remove this. Okay. And also I need to import here because it's outside the main dot root file. And this home page is not actually taking the constructor, so I'm going to remove this title here, right? Just remove that and save it, okay? So now if I go on the home page and if I save this, now you can see here on my emulator, that's my mobile phone, black skin. Why black skin? Because this is an empty container, okay? And also you can see here one check banner, debug show check banner, and later on you also remove that. That's not a problem. So in the container, if I actually type here one text, so now text is not appear because container take one child, okay? Child. So in the child, we're gonna take one text. So in Flutter, I first tell that, in Flutter, everything is widget man, right? So let's say text, this is one widget. And it will take one string okay so let's say hello oh my god so hello world right save it and you can see here one text is appeared it's called hello world but it looks so ugly man and so boring like that so to make it some special so that if it if you want like that so you're going to use one scaffold right so you can actually make this container should be a scaffold and now it looks good maybe scaffold and a scaffold always take one apple and also one body 
So I'm going to remove this line. So in our demo application, you see we have an app bar, and on our app bar, we have a space to text, uh, just kind of title, and also we have one floating action button with a better glow. Okay, so let's assign here one app bar. So app bar also take one widget because in Flutter, everything is widget. Okay, there should be capital. So app bar. And now in the app bar, there's some uh, parameter that it will take. So if I hover over here, so it will take one leading key, title, action, flexible space, bottom, elevation, shadow color. So we don't need all the things. We just need the title, right? So let's make the title. And title also take one text widget, right? And we're going to pass here the text as, let's say, space to text. If I save it, now you can see our ugly content is gone. And you can see here one really, really awesome application with app bar. Say speech to text. So you can also make this title should be center. So that's what to make the center title should be true because it's take the Boolean value. Save it. And you can see here speech to text is go on the middle of the app bar. We can also change the um, entire color. You can make this as red because I like red also. So just go on the primary source and make this one red. Okay. And now our things look so cool. And you can also make this text should be bold. So for that, we are going to give some style. So let's say text style. And this text style takes some parameter as a woman. So let's say font, 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 white. It's going to make this as font white should be bold. Okay, let's save it and see that that is looking bold or not. And also, I think we got one error. So let's see what's the error. Oh, that's the error, right? We give here one extra comma. That's why it's not changes. Now it looks good space to text you can also change the font size let's make it as 20 and see that it looks good or not no that's fine so now let's remove this debug show check banner because it looks also ugly man so let's change it out on the window dot easy to change that so let's say debug show check banner equal to false now debug show check banner also gone so now we need to one floating action button right so in floating action button it's easy to take so let's assign here first one body because our body not should be empty so let's pass here one empty container empty container and now it will take one we are going to take one floating action button right let's call floating action button so let's say floating action button and take one again widget let's call floating action button now it will give me error why because it's required on press because every uh, button it actually required one on press method so that's why it's giving me error now error is gone so now we can we can we can we can also now you can see here our, our actual floating action button is coming but not mic is not coming why because we can give here one child as the icon of mic so it also take one icon widget right i think it's uh, capital and inside that it will take one icon dot mic okay save it oh great our mic is coming so now we can make these floating action button on the center. So it's easy to make that. Just just keep here floating action button location and it also take one uh, floating action button location. Where is it? Where is it? Dot center float. Now our floating action button is coming up on the center. Now we need to make the floating action button. Uh, looks so awesome that's everyone like it so that you're going to be using some glowing effect for that you're going to be actually using some external package 
So let's see the package. So this is our nicely glowing effect package from the pub.dev. See the example, how it looks. Really cool, right? And you can also see how can you install that. A better glow, go on your dependency section, your pubspec.yml and paste it. But you're so lazy, so you're not actually using to paste it here because you're going to use some shortcut technique in VS Code. Okay, so let's see how can you use some shortcut technique to actually install in this package without going on the Google, right? So to install the package, just control shift P and you can see your pub spec assist. Okay, this is one extension that I'm actually using, and you know I'm so lazy. Glow enter and it will added this a better glow on my pubspec.yml file magically see the magic 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 of the vs code see avatar glow is added but how can i do that i'm actually using one extension in the vs code that's called pubspec assist okay just install this and using my technique to actually installing the package you don't need to go on the google and search for that this package, this package, this package. Okay. Now back to the home page. And now we are going to use this one, right? So for that, just click on here and click the blow or bulb button and wrap the floating action button to the avatar glow, right? Avatar uh, or glow. But it give me error. Okay. I think it is quite angry with me. Need to give the animate. So let's make the animate as a true. And I think it will take some um, parameter, child, child is given, shape, duration, repeat, and let's make the repeat as a true, that it is repeat again and again. And also let's uh, give your and, and radius, and let's say and radius, it, wow, it's gone. And we need to also give here one duration, so let's say give here one duration. So we're going to make it at millisecond. Next millisecond, that's after one second, it will actually give me the animation. If I save that, but we don't get any animation here. Why? Because we actually do one mistake. We forget to give here the color of the glow, right? So let's give here the glow color. Oh, come on, glow color. And our color should be always red. Okay. Save it. And now you can see here our button is magically glowing after one second. After one second. Okay. So now what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna actually add one text inside our container. So for that, I'm going to create uh, take one child, and our child should be one text with it and it will take one string okay let's say please press okay press the oh why press the uh, button or speaking right okay let's say a bit Okay, and you can see here, please press the button for speaking. So we can also give some style here. We can also make the style should be style and you give here text style. Okay, style. And it will take the font, it will take the font white and our font white, let's make it bold or make it semi bold. So let's say make it as W600 and also we are gonna make the font size. So we're gonna make the font size should be 20. Let's make it 20 here. I think we got error. Okay, our error is gone. Okay, now it's good. We can also change the font, right? Because this font looks so ugly. So that's why Control Shift P and i'm going to searching for our google forms enter and google fonts is give me 
the the the, the uh, and Google Fonts is added on our powerspoint.eml. So now we can also use that on our whole applications. See that how can you use that? Okay, Google application is I think added correctly. And if I see just a while, it will take few seconds to actually install that. Okay, it's done. So if we go here on the Google uh, main dot dirt and on the theme, we are going to actually set the text theme. So let's say text theme. Oh, it's not or to suggest screen. I think my laptop is hanging. Okay, text theme. So let's say Google. Okay, Google Forms. Google Forms dot. Let's use one theme here. Let's say Poppins, Poppins text theme. And it will take one theme of our context. Okay, I think it's not auto suggest me because I think my laptop is hanging. That's why it will take few times text theme, right? And if I save it, okay. Now our uh, text should be con uh, converted into this Poppins text theme. Just take a few seconds. Just give me a few seconds to actually how to reload the application. Okay, so now uh, our font is looking so good. You can see this to text and looking really good. Okay. So now what we are gonna do now? We are gonna actually when actually clicking the button. So we are going to animate the um, animate the icon. So for that, we, uh, we are gonna uh, create one variable for bool. Let's say is listening. So first, we're going to make the listening should be false. So when the listening is false, our glow is actually stopping. So we are gonna pass it this is listening to our animation. This animation, so is is listening. Okay, okay. If I save it, okay, our glow is gone right now. Our glow is gone. So when I click the button, okay, we are going to actually make this uh, mic button should be done. So how can you do that? By default, by default, our listening is false. Okay, so is listening is by default false. So if it is true, then you're going to actually use this mic one. That's mean this mic one, but when it is false, so we are going to make this icon should be none. Okay, so we're going to say that mic none. Okay, let's save it. Now our now our is listening is false. Okay, that's why it say mic is right now none. But when I click that, when I click the button, it will actually call one function and make our mic non to mic so we are going to store into one variable let's copy this out just cut this and i am going to create one extra variable for that let's say string let's say text and paste it okay it's better we can uh, initialize it outside the outside the outside that or not or here is okay I think okay so we can initialize the text here now okay we can call it text now it's called okay so now what you're gonna do when you click this button okay one certain operation should be um, actually done okay so what you are gonna do we are going to actually make our speech should be text and also show it on our container okay so our container should be scrollable so that's why i'm going to make the container should be inside the single side scroll view okay i think we remove this one just click on the bulb and wrap with widget that's called single child scroll view right now it's able to scroll the container and also you are going to give here some padding on the text or also you can give it on the a container too you're going to make this uh, from the outside let's make it as let's say 12 from the outside you can actually give here some padding and now it looks good 
So now what I can do, you're going to actually installing one library that's called package and this package call is piece to text. So this is the package that's called is piece to text to actually converting is piece to be text. But you need to do some uh, changes on your code. So we are actually using our Android phone. That's been our Android. So we are not actually going to do in on the iOS. So for the Android, you need to do some changes on your manifest file. Just go on your project, uh, project root and go on the Android app source main dot. And after that, you can get your one manifest file. So you need to just copy this line. That's in copy this code. This is for the user's permission. That's how you, you actually when you actually running this application for the first time. It actually gives you some permission that you are allow me to record the audio or uh, permit me for the internet, right? And also you need to uh, you need to actually set the mean SD version should should be 21. Okay. This is the latest version and maybe it's updated on 29 days ago. So 5.4.2. I think there's some problem uh, to actually you know, install in this. You can see a 5.3.0 fixes some long extending issue. That's some issue. So that's why I'm actually using the speech to text version of 3.1.0 because this worked fine, but have some problem for the null safety error, but you are going to resolve that. How can you resolve the null safety error in the Flutter? That's not a problem. So now what are you gonna do? You are going to actually installing this library. And after that, we are going to do some changes on our manifest file. That's mean this one, just copy this and Cast it on your Android projects. Just go here. So this is our Android folder. Just go on the Android folder and go on the app, go on the source, go on the main, go on the Android manifest.xml file and just paste here the code. Enter and paste here the code. Save it and go to the build.gradle. Okay. Build.gradle. If you are using Android, this is this setting for Android. Just use this main SDK version should be 21 save it now your speech to tax library should work so to installing this library so what you need to do in the just open your again control shift p power species and search for your package name so our package name should be speech to text okay enter and it will downloading these uh package from the google and actually set it on your powerspeed.eml but you need to actually change the version because this latest version sometimes it's not work because I got some error in the latest version. So that's why I'm actually using the 3.1.0. So you can see here go, speech to text is added. Just change the version number 3.1.0. So 3.1.0. Okay, save it. Okay, but it gives some null safety error. That's not a problem. Okay, so now what are you gonna do? So how we are going to actually uh, click this button, right? And actually uh, click this button. So one function should be called. Okay. So we can also make it full screen because we don't need the actually this emulator right now because our actually designing is completed. Now it's the coding part. So you can make it full screen. So now what are you going to do? You are going to create a function uh, which I'm actually calling after uh, clicking this floating action button. So just go here on the unpressed. Okay. And assign here one uh, method that's called listen. So when you are going to actually call this um, function, it will actually give me uh, some text, a piece to text. So now we are going to define the function here, right? Okay. So let's say buy it, listen, and this should be one async function because it actually coming from the internet. If the internet connection is on, a piece to text is uh, working, otherwise not. Okay. So that's why is async operation. And also we need to initialize our speech to text on our program. So that's why you need to also import here. So import speech to text. Okay, speech to text. S, let's make it as STTS. Okay. So after that, you can use that STTS. So now what are you gonna do? We are gonna to actually initialize when the our app is also initialized. So this is called the init state. So you need to actually calling this function on our init state. That's how in our apps is initialized. We are going to actually call that. So that's the init state. This one, and inside that, we are going to actually uh, call this speech to text. So for that, we are going to create our instance for that. So let's say bur. Uh, let's say speech. Let's say to text. 
equal to speech to text okay speech to text this one so our instance is created so now we can also call it here and also call a instance of that that's we are created uh, speech text equal to speech to text okay speech to text okay this one okay so our speech to text is initialized that's mean when the application is running automatically speech to text will initialized okay so now what are you going to do so when the floating action button is clicked so we're going to call this one function and this function is async okay so now we check that we are in a listening mode or not so when you click the button so our button should be converted into false to true that's means listening is by default false we need to make this as true so if it is true if it's true that's mean it is on listening mode so if it's not listening that's mean it's listening okay not mean this is by default false so if we actually get here one not sign so it should be true okay so let's say is listening that's mean if it's listening so you're going to actually do some operation so otherwise otherwise we're going to do something else right so now what you can do we are going to check the connection and also we are going to initialize this piece to text so for that let's say piece to text dot initialize so we already initialized it here behind the application in, in, uh, actually running by default our initial state is actually calling here but we need to also initialize this piece to text because it's coming from the internet so for that, we need to check the status of the uh, speech to text that is actually on or not, or it's giving me error or not. So if I hover over here, it will take some parameter as argument, and this should be function on a status, on error, debug logging, and options. So let's uh, say on a status, that's mean right now, our speech to text is initialized. So if it is initialized, we are going to listen that. Okay, listen. So we are going to actually use the dark programming language here in the flutter it's mostly same as like flutter uh python not flutter man okay and on error so when we got some error like uh like our data connection is off so it definitely gets some error so that's called error notifications so we are going to also 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 print it okay so how are you actually running the flutter for the first time so make sure that you learn the dart programming language first and dart programming language is mostly similar to python if you know python i think it's hope it's easy for you to learn the dart okay so speech to text is right now initialized and if it's initialized you're going to store into one variable that's called available that's mean our speech to text is right now available if available if it's available right if it's available we are going to do some operation right now it's give me error because this is async operation so how it will take the internet connection so we need to also wipe them so we are going to pass here a white simple so our error is gone so if it is available if it's available so what are you going to do we are going to make our is listening equal to true okay if it's available available if it's available okay so what we are gonna do we are gonna actually make our this listening should be true so it should be on the status because our state should be changed that's mean it actually changing to the false to the true that's mean our application building again so that's why you can actually set the state inside that and we are going to make this is listening is listening should be true so our is listening is right now true so what you need to do so we are also going to uh, actually recognize the word so that's why it's piece to text dot so now what you're going to do we are going to first listen it okay we are going to listen it so after listening it we are going to actually recognize them okay so on the listen it's actually to take some function you can see it's called on result function so you're going to use here so on result okay so on result it will take one result so this result is nothing but our text 
okay so we are going to actually change this text this text to this this result text okay so for that you need to also use the set state here because the state is changes set state and we are going to make this text to be result okay result dot recognize what that's mean which word is recognized we are going to actually store it into our text okay i think now error is gone yeah error is gone otherwise otherwise we are going to make this status should be okay a status should be false okay that's mean is listening equal to we are going to make it false okay and also we're going to stop that right so we are going to stop that so i think it should be on the here is this text dot we are going to stop that simple okay so this is the simple program okay so now let's save the code okay if i click the button not nothing is happening if i reload the application and see here okay on the output we, we, you can see we got some error for null safety error okay so to remove that we need to actually close the application now first and we need to actually give here one command to actually run in this code you can also read this blog that's called unsound null safety you can also upgrade your dirt version okay and they also talk about that how can you disable the sound and null safety using your this command as no sound null safety we can also just uh, copy this out this copy this out flutter run no sound null safety just copy this out and open the terminal and run the code okay and see that it worked fine or not so just pass this command line code that you copied from the website just enter and you will be installing this uh, application on your system and you can see how this is the android uh, phone that i'm actually using and actually using this application uh, mobile phone i'm actually installing this application and it will take 7.2 seconds for running the guild uh, gradle tax and for installing i don't know who, how, how much time it actually take so oh, it's great it takes just 11.0 seconds and also you can see how our, our application is upping a uh, run and down okay that's really cool okay our application is loaded and also our uh, google fonts also work here and if i click here this uh, floating action button okay it will actually asking me for allo this application name is piece to text app to record the audio that means actually it actually uh, taking the permission to record the audio if i click it to allo hello how are you wow that's fine hello how are you and also you can see here listening right now not listening that's when text is not appeared so how actually get this because if i see on 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 the um this one is listening you can see here we actually printing the status right now status is not listening but if i click here this floating action button now it's off but if i click here again subscribe knowledge doctor youtube channel see it's really working fine you can see here listening not listening and now it's off it's not listening right now okay and you can see a subscribe knowledge doctor youtube channel and also you need, you need to also do that subscribe this knowledge doctor youtube channel okay thank you everyone for watching this tutorial oh that's give me error thanks for watching wow now it's working fine thanks for watching that's i think my voice problem my body is not so good so this is the tutorial hope you will enjoy this tutorial and make sure to subscribe my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon for never miss any update and i'll be back with another tutorial so till then take care and bye bye